And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some snap vine mentality on this meme tier Tuesday. We still have some more meme tier decks today that we are getting to. And sometimes you just got to have an overgrown snap vine mentality. And so we're going to be playing overgrown snap vine with pack mentality and with Iceborne Legacy. Iceborne Legacy will make our overgrown snap vines much larger, giving them all plus two, plus two. So instead of the base five, three, they're going to be seven fives. I guess I should mention, talk about overgrown snap vine first. If you don't know about this card, seven mana, five, three, if we summon another fault, like we have snap vine in play and we summon another follower, you just kill that follower and then change it into being an overgrown snap vine. So the Iceborne Legacy, we, we want to put this on Overgrown Snap Vine. And so then all um, Overgrown Snap Vines ever will be plus two, plus two. So they can be seven fives. Pack Mentality will give all of our allies in play plus two, plus two, and Overwhelm. So we try to make get a board filled with Overgrown Snap Vines, maybe buff them up with Iceborne Legacy, but then Pack Mentality is going to be our finisher. So we got our, our Snap Vine Mentality. We're going to have um, a lot of ways to to kind of enable the overgrown snap binds and make them even bigger first or better. Sorry. First, we have the Babbling Bjerg that will uh, help find it. So we'll draw a unit with five plus power and our only unit with five plus power in our deck is the overgrown snap bind. Maokai is going to be our champion. Maokai is a good secondary win condition for us um, because we will have things die and everything. And then whenever it levels up can obliterate their deck. But then also if we have a Maokai in play, then whenever we play our Overgrown Snap Vine, it will immediately toss two and summon a Sapling. But of course, that Sapling turns into an Overgrown Snap Vine. So then we uh, can get two Overgrown Snap Vines immediately. So we have some protection against some removal in that way. We also want to, we, we also have other ways to be able to get more Overgrown Snap Vines right away. Because if we play an Overgrown Snap Vine and then they play a removal spell to kill it, that's going to make us really sad. So what we have here is if we, if we save up spell mana, play our snap vine, then we can use spell mana on, well, Haunted Relic's slow, but we can use it on like Vile Feast, which is fast. Um, and that's another way to be able to get an overgrown snap vine. Uh, the Haunted Relic's can get three snap vines, but it is slow. Uh, let's see. Curse Keeper, Fading Icon, Hapless Aristocrat, all these things put in two bodies, all these things put in two overgrown snap vines, because remember, your, your overgrown snap vine kills your original unit as soon as you play it. So when you play a Hapless Aristocrat, it will have the last breath summon a spiderling. So like your aristocrat turns into a snap vine and then your spiderling turns into a snap vine immediately. I, I like the Islander in here. Islander is going to be able to um, help like make some of these things ephemeral, reduce their cost so we can play snap vine and then play like aristocrat the same turn, like a zero mana aristocrat, for example. Or we can also reduce the cost of snap vine to try to get it in earlier. All right, but anyway, that's, that's what our deck's all about. The snap vine mentality. Let's get to it. This is a good... Meme tier deck. We're going to be playing five games in normal. Yeah, out of the way is in Targon. To make buffs permanent. Fiora is great against smaller units. So that can definitely be a problem. We need to find Overgrown Snapvine, of course. I'm going to just... We have a lot of other, like, one-drops also. I'm going to just mulligan all three of these. And I think that's fine. Sure is dark, eh? Well, that worked out. Waiting a turn on the Islander. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to dial double vile feast that. Uh, maybe I was. Maybe I was. I didn't play the fading icon because I wanted to wait till after Maokai for the fading icon. So aggressive. 
I do not want the Zed to level up. If I let them strike, it gets level up. I want the sapling to challenge the Zed and then also have Vile Feast. My shield is yours. <sighs> Alright, never mind. New plan Withering Whale. Plan's not working as well. Hmm. That's fine. Fresh catch. If I play the hapless aristocrat instead. The problem, the problem, I guess the problem with playing the Hapless Earth Scrat instead is that then we hold on to Islander and maybe we draw something next turn that we don't want to give Ephemeral. And I don't really care if this Hapless Earth Scrat has Ephemeral. Think I got something. Got to be kidding me. Only the worthy survive. Yeah, so it looks like their deck is either all in Zed or all in Fiora, depending on which one they draw. What's that noise? Another Maokai is the worst possible draw step. This Maokai really doesn't do anything. Oh, right, that thing has Toph also, so this sapling's not going to kill it. I have many faces. Please, I have connections. Okay, well now the extra Maokai not looking as bad. Iceborne Legacy Saplings. Let's go. That's too bad. <laughs> no, that's that's a good question. I don't know the answer to it. Somebody asked, can somebody um can someone can somebody explain why sap magic should not heal the Nexus three as well? And I don't I don't know if there is an explanation, to be honest. I, <laughs> I, if there is, I haven't heard one. It just, it doesn't make sense why that card doesn't heal your nexus. Okay, so we killed Zed. And I didn't play this immediately because if we drew another Maokai or drew an Overgrown Snapbine. Seems like that maybe they just have only spells in hand. Yay! That's an overgrown snap fine. I am the blade in the darkness. No. I guess I am at six now. Cause if I play the the Bjerg, then next turn I can't go I, I just can't play like the overgrown snap fine and caretaker next turn. So I could play like the caretaker right now, but then maybe I don't have anything after the overgrown snap fine. 
I think that's, I guess that's just what I have to do. Oh, I forgot these things are four threes. I kind of forgot about that, to be honest. Apples or Zocrat was such a great draw. Because we get two overgrown snapbinds. Now they could have judgment. But I'm not playing around it. Good, that's not judgment. Okay. Good thing we didn't play around it. Wow. That was a crazy game. But we ended up getting there. Champion to play. I, I usually like playing Zed decks. Zed's a fun champion to play. It's like attacking a whole bunch. It can be very stressful playing against Zed. Okay, so we're playing against Leone Yasuo. They're going to be stunning. We're going to mulligan, mulligan. We'll keep the two drop and the, the glimpse beyond. Okay, good. Bjerg will find the... Sure is good, uh, eh? The snap fine. Ours is the one true light. You wish there was a counter specifically for stuns? I mean, I guess Spell Shield is that. I was hoping they didn't attack. So Steel Tempest is really valuable. So like they just saved a generic 2-2 with the Steel Tempest, which you know like the generic 2-2 just trades with our two ones. So I am very happy with uh, them using a Steel Tempest on that. Yeah, and, and basically right now it's which champion are they gonna have? <laughs> They're definitely gonna have a champion. I'll right, we'll take a snap find out of the deck. Alright, so the 3-1 and the 2-2 trade, and then they like block a 2-1 with like a 3-5. It turns Leon into a 3-3 and they take 5. Sure. I have to clear up, I always kind of have to clear up space anyway. Try to leave a dent. But I like that Leona being a 3-3. I know I could use the cur the uh, Glimpse Beyond here, but I like that 2 damage being on the Leona. I did that before like a Robin comes down and makes my attacks much worse. Oh. Think it fast. Blade twirler. Eyes blazing bright as torches. It's good to get cards out of the deck. Cause like if, if I if we don't play the Bjerg and then if we just like naturally draw the like if our draw step is just the overgrown snap line, we only have the two of them in the deck, so then our Bjerg wouldn't do anything anymore. Huh. Okay. I think that's only going to stun one thing, I think. Oh, no, because then does that happen? Yeah, so that just stuns one. Bask in the light's radiance. Now, who's got the upper hand? Think I got 
I got a couple Iceborne Legacies. You gotta believe me. Wanna see these moves up close? Oh yes. So yeah, it does count as slay for um, whenever Snapvine kills your stuff, that does count as it being slayed. Alright, so my plan is just to play Snapvine. Play Vile Feast. Kill the Leona, get another snap fine. Alright, so the Vile Feast will fizzle. We don't get a free snap fine there. Great card to draw. So we should have a board filled with five threes, and if we're lucky, seven fives, depending on if they have the interaction for this. Let's go with Caretaker first. Because that's three bodies. Jacko Caco. <laughs> that's so good. All right, I'm going to target the thing that's stunned, so if they have, like, a bounce spell, they bounce the one that's stunned. Not a non-stunned. Okay, there's seven fives now. Let's go. Let's go. One mana, two seven fives. All right, snap, snap vine mentality. Sometimes you just got to have that in life. You just got to have a snap vine mentality. Okay, we about to be 2-0. There we go. We 2-0. <laughs> Har Harvey's pretty happy. Ooh, Lissandra Talia. Talia Lissandra. That's fun to say. Talia Lissandra. We'll send one caretaker back. But obviously, I like having a snap vine. Um, I don't know, like, how this is going to work with, like, ephemeral snap vine. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I don't know exactly how it's going to work, but we'll figure it out. We have to have another way to put another snap vine into play. Right away. Let's take this outside. Think I got something. You think you got something? Maybe a couple of cards for me to draw? Oh, heck. Okay, so the... Uh, the Babbling Beerg will not draw anything anymore. I only have the two Snap Finds in the deck. We got both Snap Finds in our hand. Keep her glimpse beyond. Okay. 
Alright, I'm I'm gonna wait on this fading I con until after Overgrown Snap Vine. We don't really need it out right now. I mean I guess I could play it and then caretaker it, but Right now it's more about That's one turn short. More about next turn. Snap by and fading icon. Uh, that 3 1 is good. I should have just stacked 4 3 immediately. That 3 1 was good. I don't mind my card dying there. Um, you know, you can say, well, that's not a good trade for me. Well, I need, I'm going to need room. <laughs> I need room for snap binds, so. It's better than trading with snap bind. doesn't look good. I know they can challenge it. I have like the other overgrown snap vine. Yeah, that feels bad. Good Talia hand. Yeah, maybe I should just let them attack first. Because they probably would have attacked. I was worried that they wouldn't attack. They would just pass. Because they were getting these huge things. But they probably would have attacked with a leveled up Talia. Kind of only have one play. That was a that was a good round for us because they didn't really do anything. Really haunted relic couldn't have you last turn. So that's three. That's five. Five is more than three. work. Okay. Yeah, maybe I should have tried that first. I wanted to. I I played the other card because I wanted to keep Withering Whale available in case of like a ruinous path or whatever. This is this is the time that sometimes you're. Uh, sometimes it can, can definitely be a downside of only being able to go six wide, right? Because we could, we could go super wide with five threes this uh, round if we were allowed to. Only we were allowed to. Ooh. I'm just going to play this right now with the mana. All these right negations. Alright, draw vengeance. 
We need to draw vengeance here. Vengeance. No, that's not vengeance. Yeah, that's. I need vengeance for this thing. All right, the falling rocks got us. Speaking of opponent. Oh. Oh, I thought we had one copy of Vengeance. We don't even have a. Okay. Oh, that was the other. I'm thinking of the Turbo Ledro stack had a copy of Vengeance. So Twist Fate Jinx is definitely a very good deck. Um, I think this is one where Withering Will could be good. They usually go pretty wide. Oh, concurrent timelines. That's probably great. No, no atrocity. If they would have got something bigger, I would have Vile Feasted my Curse Keeper to get the 4 3 0. I'm just going to play this, get that 1 1 as a blocker. I don't want to play this Curse Keeper, I, won't, I want to wait till after the Malkheim. Right <laughs> the Isles will bloom again. Don't, don't kill my Maokai. You gonna go gold card or something? Hello, wow. Mountain Sojourners with Fuzzy Caretaker, and then Flame Chompers. But even just, just Mountain Sojourners, Flame Chompers. Is pretty nice. Because that's going to kill my Maokai. Ooh. What is that? They're... That's got to be another one of those. The, fi the Kempunk Shredder, right? That definitely feels like another Kempunk Shredder. Deal one damage to stuff. So if they're going to go Kempunk Shredder, I don't really want to go Caretaker right now. Because, yeah, like, my, like they're basically saying, like, I play I play some units, they go Shredder, and then, that like, that kills my Sapling and the Maokai and everything. So I guess I could go... F oh, man. This is just... Kempunk Shredder is just really rough here. We've already... We have seen two Kempunk Shredders, but the only reason to make that challenge is, is the Shredder. Yeah, that's a Kempunk Shredder. Same card. Same card. There's support blocking. All right, well, that worked out. Hey, Maokai. I like playing the, the Maokai so that my snap find will get another snap find immediately. Next turn. Sorry. All right, want more room? We always just want more room. And I want to keep my life total high. I wish they would have just shoot these things, kill these things. Because if both of these are dead, then I can get you know, more 5-3s. Like 
That was probably not the best two drop to grab. I'm guessing that was not the best two drop to grab. Okay. Overgrown snap finds. Getting it done. We're three and one. All right, Thresh Nessus. This deck's pretty good. Um, they usually finish people out with big atrocities. Ooh, we have a pack mentality. Could be nice. Okay, I'm in there. I'll keep this hand. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Want to be able to attack for two on turn one. Good attack, good attack. I was hoping, of course, they wouldn't attack with me having this caretaker right here. Think I got something. I should not have kept this pack mentality. Okay, well. This isn't exactly how I wanted this game to play out. Alright, this isn't this is not how I want this game to play out. Sometimes you draw, like, we haven't really seen our top end spells too much, right? Like, we haven't seen too, much, too many pack mentalities. I thought that I could keep one in the opener, but that ended up not being a good decision. Okay. Alright, there's a snap vine. We're a long ways away from playing it, but that's at least an end goal that we can have in sight. There they go. So now here's where they can start playing champions. They've been drawing a good amount of cards with these Preservariums. Um, this is where we're going to start struggling. If they, if they do have champions, they're not going to be really powerful enough for champions. See what we see. Inkeeper. If they would have, like, played something, like, if, if it would have been, like, important to have, like, four three challengers, I could have gone with the uh, Ephemeral Sapling and Iceborne Legacy and Sapling. Because Iceborne Legacy Sapling is just not that bad of an idea with having Caretakers and Maokais and stuff. So it's still no snap by next turn. You know, seven mana, we gotta wait till the turn after. Oh, Spirit Leech is awesome. We should have Spirit Leech. And that card's good. So yeah, na basically, na you know, right right now it's Nasus. I'm not, I'm not stopping Nasus too well. Okay, great. Curse Keeper means that they don't have the mana for either champion, so that's great. My blocks are just fine, currently. No, 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 Would you guys own a sapling in real life? Or else if they explode, what, saplings? Like, saplings explode? Well, I wouldn't want a sapling if it exploded. 
Sure. I don't want a splutter sapling. If it's just like a jack o' lantern, you know, it kind of seems like a jack o' lantern. Is that what those are called? Like the, you know, when you like carve in a pump? No, that, is that different? Like just like a pumpkin, like a carved pumpkin. That's what it's kind of. That's what it looks like. It's like a, it's like a carved sapling. If it just kind of was inanimate, like a, like a pumpkin carving, then that'd be cool. All right, here's the moment of truth. Do they have a removal spell for overgrown snapvine? If they do, we probably lose. If they don't. We're looking good. The cycle begins anew. All right, so they do have Nasus. They use that plus three, plus three, so they also have Atrocity. They will win. Okay. This levels up Nasus. So they can be like, wow, so they got the spell shield for their atrocity, but I don't have any spells to stop atrocity anyway. So it's not like that's a big deal. That vines are cool. So I'm pretty sure they have atrocity and they're just like thinking about whether or not to play it. Because they're they're gonna play it before they take lethal. So it's I can't There we go. So I can't like do anything to like keep them from playing it. So when will they cast Atrocity? Alright, they finally did it. There they go. Good job, you're great. Way to go, opponent. So good. Alright, so there we go. That was a 3 and 2 with our Snapvine mentality. It was a lot of fun to play. And Overgrown Snapvine is just a lot of fun. So this is another, like, that's that's what's great about these meme tier decks. You know, like, these aren't ones you're going to be signing up for in a tournament. But they are definitely decks that you can uh, have some fun with, with the day that you, that, uh, you want to, and do some really cool things. We got over, we got to see Overgrown Snapvine um, in play with like Haunted Relic making three of them, or you know, Hapless Aristocrat, Curse Keeper, Fading Icon, all these things making two Snapvines, Caretaker getting us like three Snapvines. It was really cool. We got to Iceborne Legacy twice. I think only maybe only once on the Snapvines, once on the. Um, saplings. Um, didn't get to do the, the pack mentality with it, but that's all right. There wasn't really like an opportunity for us to do that. It didn't really cost us. Um, but there we go. You know, just overgrown snap finds are, are pretty cool. How wide they can go and they hit hard. Like it, you know, it attacks for 30. If you go six wide with these overgrown snap finds, even without an Iceborne Legacy, you know, attacking for five, six times is really difficult to stop. So it looked good. All right. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, Hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But that's all I got here for Snapvine Mentality. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.